Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship tutorial, and this is part one of my HMHS Britannic tutorial. Now this is sort of a rehash of my 2018 spec Titanic slash Britannic tutorial which I've done, uh, whereas I built the Titanic and then converted it to Britannic. But what I've done, I've gone for a completely scratch made Britannic, or Britannic tutorial, and what we've done, or what I've done, is uh, sort of rejiggled everything. The hull is completely new, so the ship is basically sort of I'd say about 75% new compared to the old one. So there's still bits which are the same compared to the old ship, uh, but there's a lot of things different. So a completely different hull, a retweaked superstructure, a place, uh, different placements for certain objects. So it's uh, a complete rejiggle basically. Now as before, if you're going to be building this as part of a downloadable project, a uh, a video or a conversion to other games which a lot of people have been doing and then don't forget to credit me with the design that's all I asked for there are a lot of shit weasels out there who do like to build my stuff and then take all the credit for it um, yeah that's all I'm gonna ask uh, say for that one right so what I've done over here I've already laid the keel of the ship now this is the center line and backbone of the ship and it is 425 blocks long that's four to five blocks long and you're going to build that in whatever colour you want, so I've laid it as grey. So have a quick look around the ship uh, before we start. So as you can see, the hull is a very different to what i done in 2018, so it's basically a two-year anniversary sort of thing. So the hull is very different. There's a few uh, black uh, marks on it, as you can see, where the shadows are not rendered properly. Um, but yeah, it is around 75... I'll say about 70% different compared to the old one, because uh, the hull takes up a good chunk of that, so... Yeah, it's uh, a little bit different. Now, I've added a grey line to the hull of this one. I do like to have a line between the, the hull and the superstructure. Um, I know I know a lot of people say the ship did not have that, and I know it did not have a line there, but it's just a join line between the hull and the superstructure. It's just a reference point, really. So if you don't want to do the line, then fine, that's your problem. Well, I've added the line, so it's my problem. So there we go. So that's uh, the thing. Now, I decided to add it grey, so, uh, you know, trying to make it... Uh, blend in as best I can but it's the lightest colour I can find but there we go so anyway there's the Britannic what we're going to be building and we're going to focus on the red draft for today and we'll stop the rambling and we'll get on to our build so we're going to go down to the front end of the keel and like I say the keel is 425 blocks long and if you're going to build this on water then you're going to build this keel 18 no 17 blocks below the surface of the water if you're building this in water of course so what we're going to do for the begin with the hull, I'm going to work on the left side and then copy it to the right side just to get time out of the way. So we're going to start on the tenth block back on the keel. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And from there we're going to add six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we want uh, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, and then 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I just measured that one again because it lagged slightly, so that should be 12, which it is, so that's fine. Uh, and then we want 9 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we want uh, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then uh, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then uh, 9 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we want 4 rows of 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That should be four rows of eight. Um, and then after that we want a row of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then we want a line of eighty-four. That's eight four. So that's the first block there. And I measure that. And I build it freehand and then measure as I go along. So I want a line of eighty-four. So do it freehand, like I say. La, 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 la. And like I say, whenever I do 
these builds and build one side and copy it to the other side. I always explain how to do things before I do all the copying. The, the, the world edit is just a tool to save time. I do try to explain that. So there we go, right? Anyone should see how far that is. 114, so I've gone too far by about 20 there, or 30. So I wanted 84, and I've also done damage to the bloody ground there. So that's 90, and that's 84. So there's a line. <laughs> A line of 84 there, and then we want to curve back in toward the keel again. So at the end of the 84, on the inside here, we want to build a line of 18. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then two rows of 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then two rows of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll just double check that. So it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's fine. And then 10 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, and then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you should have uh, nine blocks of the keel sticking out the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's fine, that's the keel done or the, the base plate done on one side. So you do the same thing on the other side of the keel. So you have the base plate all laid out, but that's half the base plate and it should, like I say, look something like that. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go to the front end, uh, the, the front of the 84, so the front end of the 84, which is down here. So the 84 is this long line here. So we go to the front of that, and what we want to do is uh, add two blocks out. So on the, t on the front block of the 84, build out two, like so, and then add four back, one, two, three, four, and on top of that fourth block we build out two again, like so, and then add four back, one, two, three, four, and on that last block we build up three, one, two, three, and then one out, like so. So that just makes the ship slightly wider and slightly more curvy. So it looks weird at the moment, but <laughs> when it's all done it looks fine. So what we do now is go to the back of the uh, 84, which is here, so the back back line of the 84, and what we do there, we build out two, one, two, and the same again, one, two, so it's two rows, two, well, two rows of two out like that, and then on the uh, top row of two, we build up three, one, two, three, and then one out, like so, and then we add 17 back towards the stern, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 15, 16, 17. I just measure that to make sure that is 17. So from there to there, that's 17. Now that's fine. So that's how that should look. So that's slightly more complicated, but you know it will uh, make sense when it's all done. Uh, so what we're going to do now then is between that single block on the front end and this row of 17 here. Actually, I'll go back to that row of one. So this this single block here on the front, we just build a line of blocks behind it, going all the way back to that connects to the single block sticking out the back, or sticking out the side at the back end, which is the beginning of that row of 17. So just build this line all the way back until it connects up, which is there, and then we get that connects up to there like so. And the same with the next two rows down, so the next two rows down below, so if this row here are the row of two there, build that one back or forward all the way to the front end. The same with the next row above, build that all the way forward as well. So you get a sort of curve of the hull. It's not perfect, but it's a, it's a curve nonetheless. So I shall build this one freehand quickly. And hopefully it should all line up. Well, it will line up because I have measured it many times. 
and there we go there's that one there and then the next row above we'll do the same again it's basically another line of blocks all the way to the back end like so so you've got the two rows like that and then between this bottom row and the top row up here basically you just want to add two or a two block high line of blocks to fill in this gap so on top of the row at the bottom row and it just tucks in underneath the overhang of the top line like so so just add this line all the way forward now use world edit for this one just to save time and it just basically fills in the gap so up to there we do set 251 by 14 and it fills in that gap there like so so there we are there's that side wall filled in and it should look something like that that's the theory at least anyway so that is half the base plate done with the side so what I'm going to do I'm going to quickly copy that to the other side so I've done all the dimensions and everything like that so I just need to do the same on the other side so I shall copy that so uh, I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's copy from there. Get rid of that. And I shall warp to the bow, which is here. And I shall copy to this point here. And we do copy and then flip to the right. And then we paste. And that should have both sides in place. And there we go. That's how it should look like that. So that's both sides done now, either side of the keel. Now, I do apologise for those people working on console and the handheld devices who don't have weld in it, but uh, that's the way things are, I'm afraid. I don't make the rules and make the technology, but there we go. So bear with me while I check my notes what we do next. Right, so what we want to do now <coughs> is to add the size. Now, if you're familiar with my builds in the past, then you know that I, I usually label each section of the hull to make life easier when we build the whole sections upwards. So what we're going to do is add signs. Start from the, the, the front of the keel. So at the front of the ship here, we we'll put a sign there that says zero. So zero marks the center line. And then from there we add one and then two and three. So on all the way out to the side. Same on both sides. So one to twenty-four that side and one to twenty-four this on the other side. So that's the first two done there. And when you get to the end, so you, so you mark each section, so it'll be one to twenty-four. When you get to the end, which is up here, uh, twenty-four will be up here. So this is where twenty-four will go which is right on the top up there like so, so that's 24 23 will be this one here that one there and 22 will be this one here so that's 22 there and 21 is that one there so that is how it should be so 0 to 24 so 21 there 22 up there 23 up there again and then 24 all the way up there so that's the front half how it should be and then for the back back half it's the same sort of thing again so it's from the from the center at the back will be zero and then you go out to 24 so once again 24 will be up here on the end of the 17 so 24 up there on the end of that long line there and then 23 will be this one here just below it so 23 will be there on that section there 22 will be this one here 22 there and then 21 will be there so 21 22 23 and 24 is at the top, the end of that long section there. So I shall mark out the first few sections. I'll go back to the bow and mark them out a few at a time. So you do the same on the other side. Mark from 1 or 0 to 24 out to the side. So I shall do the first few sections. And it should all be okay. So that's 1, 2 done there. And then in 3 and so on. You get the idea. So on each section, just keep, keep labelling it. And it will be easier to... Uh, get each section out of the way. Is that five or six? I can't remember. So that was five. So that's what wants to be six. So six there, and then seven, and you get the idea how this goes. So there we are. There's the first few. So that's one to eight done. And I've also done, like I say, twenty-four up to twenty-four. So just do the same on the other side. Get all one to twenty-four out of the way, front to back, and then we can move on. So I should do a jump cut while I sort that out. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've added the signs to every section of the ship's hull now. So that's the left side stern, and this is the right side stern. You can see the signs like marking 1 to 24. And I'm just going to fly to the front end now, and then we're going to start building the hull upwards. So uh, we're going to start at 0 at the very front of the ship. And we'll do the front half, fill out all the gaps, and then we'll move to the stern afterwards. So that's what we're going to do. So as before, I'm going to work on the left-hand side, uh, and then 
finish all the left and then copy it to the right hand side just to save time but if you're going to be building this each section at a time say do section one one side and then do section one the other side it just depends how you want to work it it could be up to you or it is up to you how you want to do it but uh, i'd suggest doing each section on both sides at a time but anyway what we're going to do now section zero and we're going to do build the hull upwards so we'll, so on the front of the keel we want to build four rows of three forward so one two three one two three one two three one two three, one, two, three. So it's four rows of three like that and then two rows of two one two one two and then up two one two and then up three rows of four so one two three four one two three four one two three four and there we go there's the four peak of our ship's bow so that is that section there so now we move on to section one which is the next row along so like I say do each row at a time on both sides is entirely up to you. So for section one, we want to build forward seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. And then three rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Up two. One, two. And then up four. One, two, three, four. Four again. One, two, three, four. And then three. One, two, three. And there you go. That's section one. And then we move on to section two. Which is here, I just changed my notes. So for section two, we want forward six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then four rows of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then three rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And up two, one, two. Up three, one, two, three. Up four, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three. And make sure each section is the same height as you go along. So there should be about 18 high in total with the bottom in place so just make sure they're all the same height as you look at them so now we move on to section three and like i say do the same on the other side as you go along i'm just doing one side so for section three we want forward eight one two three four five six seven eight and then four rows of three one two three one one two three one two three one two three two rows of two one two one two up two one two and then up four rows of three so one two three one two three one two three one two three and that's the same height again that's fine now we move on to section four now for section four we want forward ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then four one two three four and then three rows of three one two three one two three one two three three rows of two no four rows of two sorry so one two one two one two one two and then up two one two and then up three rows of three one two three one two three one two three and then forward one on the end like so so there we are and that's the same height again now move on to section five i think yep five i want to build forward eleven so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then two rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then seven rows of two. So uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And one, two. So that's seven rows of two like that. And then we want to go up two. One, two. Up three. One, two, three. And then one. Like so. So then that's that one done there. So that was section five. Now we move on to section six. My voice is already starting to fail. Uh, for section six, we want to go forward eleven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then five. One, two, three, four, five, and then three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then four rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then seven rows of two again. So uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. And then on top we add one, like so. so. That's that section done there. And then we want to move on to section seven, which is just here. And for section seven we want forward nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then three rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
and then six rows of three. So one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three. So that was that was six rows of three. And then we want five rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So that's five rows of two like that. And it should look something like that in theory. So now we move on to section uh, eight, I believe. So section eight is there. So for section eight, we want forward nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then two rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four rows of four. So one, two, three, four. 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 And then six rows of three again. So one, two, three. 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 And then four rows of two. So one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two. There we go. So that's four rows of two, like that. So making sure, of course, they're all the same height, which they are. That's fine. Now we move on to number nine. And for number nine, I just changed my notes. Number nine, we want forward eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then three rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just double check that. One, two, three, four. That's fine. And then we want six rows of three again. So one, two, three. 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 And then three rows of two. So one, two. One, two. One, two. And that's the same height again. That's fine. Now we're on to number 10, so we're cracking along with this, we're not far away from halfway. Uh, so for number 10 we want forward 12, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 3 rows of 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 5 rows of 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. And then six rows of three. One two 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 three. So that's six rows of three there. And then we want two rows of two. So one two. One two. And there we go. That's that one done there. Right. So now we move on to number eleven. And for number eleven, we want. Uh, forward nine, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two rows of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then six rows of three again, so one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And then a single row of two, so one, two there. And that's the same height again, that's fine. So it's cracking on, and it doesn't look too bad at the moment, but still a long way to go. Right, so now we move on to number 12, which is the halfway point. Thank the Lord, we're getting there. Just adjust my notes, because the bloody things are stuck. Right, so for number 12... We want uh, forward seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six rows of five, so one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. So that was that was six rows of five, and then we want three rows of four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. And then six rows of three. So one two three. 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 And that's the top. So that is the same height as the rest. That's fine. And now we move on to section thirteen. And I'm just going to adjust my notes for this one. So bear with me. <clears throat> right. So for uh, for section thirteen, we want. Uh, forward 12, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
and then we want six rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. So there we are, six rows of five. And then we want uh, three rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we want six rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and there we go. That's the same height again. So that's section thirteen. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I move on to number fourteen. Always makes sense. So I just adjust my notes. So for section fourteen, we want to go forward nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then three rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five rows of five, so one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. So there we are. And then we want uh, four rows of four, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then four rows of three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And there we go. That's the same height again, so that's fine. And there we go. All right, so now we move on to section 15, which is this one here. And I adjust my notes again. So for section 15, we want forward 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then four rows of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five rows of five, one, two, three, four, 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 five, and then three three rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then four rows of three. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we have the same height again. So that was section four, uh, 15. Now we're on to section uh, 16. And we're getting near the end, thank the Lord. So for section 16, we want forward uh, two rows of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just double check that. So it's two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, uh, and then, sorry. And then we want four rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 And then three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, and then four rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's the same height again. So that's fine. If you look at it along, it does look sort of shippy shape-ish. It will look better when it's filled in. Trust me. All right. So now we move on to number seventeen, and I'm getting bored of this pretty quickly. Uh, so for seventeen, we want forward eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 I just double check to make sure that's four rows of six. So that's one, two, three, four. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And then we want four rows of five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. And then three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that's the same height again. That's fine. Now we move on to numbers 18. Uh, just adjust my notes again. Bear with me. So for number 18, we want forward eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we want seven rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So that should be seven rows of six, hopefully. And then we want three rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And two rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there we go. That's the same height as the rest. So that's fine. Everything's lined up fine and dandy. Now we move on to section 19. Which is that one there. So I just adjust my notes again. So for number 19 we want uh, forward 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then uh, 2 rows of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 6 rows of 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I just lost count already, so bear with me. So that's... that's uh, Three, four, five. So that's one, two, three, four. So far, so that's four. And then we want one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So anyway, that's seven rows of six. And then we want three rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That should be four rows of four. Uh, like that, and then we want uh, a row of three, one, two, three, like that. And that's the top line, like so. And uh, it doesn't look too bad at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I move on to section 20, which is this one here, and adjust my notes again. So for section 20, we want uh, a row of 10 forward, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then two rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 So it should be eight rows of six. And then we want a row of five, one, two, three, four, five. And then four rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then a row of three, one, two, three. And that's the same height as the rest again, so that's fine. Now we're on to number 21, which is down here. So if you label 21 there like that, you're going to want to remove this top block here and then start from in there like so. So I just adjust my notes. So from there we want 13, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we want 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 2 rows of 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 7 rows of 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 7 rows of 6. And then we want 2 rows of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 4 rows of 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And there we are. That's the same height again. So that's fine. Now we're on to number 22, which we go up in height, or one, we'll go, go up one in height, so 22 is here. And for 22 we want forward 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 3 rows of 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then seven rows of six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we want two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And there we go, that's that section done there, the same height as the rest. So now we move on to number 23. 
which is this one here and bear with me while I adjust my notes so for number 23 we want forward 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then three rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, 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 six. And then we want three rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of four, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's the same height as the rest. That's fine. And now we move on to the last one, number 24, which is right at the top here. And we'll start on the top of there, and we want forward nine, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then two rows of eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then four rows of seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we want two rows of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four. And that's the same height as the rest, that's fine. So that is all 24 sections of the bow, or at least half the bow done. So it should look sort of like that. So you don't really get an idea on how the ship is shaped at the moment, but I assure you it doesn't look too bad. So you've got a sort of a rib cage effect going on there. And you do the same thing on the other side if you haven't already. So you should have both sides looking bow shaped. So if you look at the ship front on, you can see we've got a bit of a, a curve going on there, which does look quite good. So that is, like I say, half of it done. Now what I'm going to do now is go on the inside, if you haven't already done the other side do that, and then go on the inside, and then what we want to do is from the inside is just fill in the gaps between each section of the hull. So I'll do the first few sections and then I'll do a jump cut to get the uh, this part out of the way, like so. So that's the first one done, I'll do the next one. There we go, there's the first two sections done. So when you start filling the sections in, you will have a full hull shape filled in. If you look on the prototype over there, you can sort of get an idea on how it should look when it's done. So that's, like I said, that's the first quarter of the hull done. And what I'll do, I'll do a jump cut now while I fill in the rest. And then on screen I'll copy it to the other side, and then we'll go to the back of the ship and start doing that. So uh, I shall do a jump cut now, and I shall return in a few minutes, or a few seconds. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's all the hull filled in, and it should look something like that. Doesn't look much at the moment, but when you get the right angles, it does look quite good. So that's one quarter of the bow section done, of the red section. So if we look at it front on, it will look something like that. You can see the curve going on there. So that's, like I say, half the bow done. So I'm just going to quickly copy this side to the other side. Um, if you're doing it by hand, I do apologise. So I'll just quickly copy, flip to the right, and then paste. And there we go, there's both sides done. So that is how it should look when it's all complete. So you've got the bow sort of shaped like that. So that's one half of the bow, or one half of the hull done. Or the draft, rather. The main hull, which is the white section over there, or the bit with the green line on, is going to be in part two. So that's for another day. Uh, so there, that's uh, that section all done there. So from the inside, it will look something like that as well. So there we go, that's the front end done. So then we're going to go down to the back end. And we're going to start the whole damn process all over again. So start at zero again. And work our way out to 24. So we're going to go right down to the end of the uh, the end of the keel at the stern. The propeller end of the ship. And what we're going to do is start at zero. And like I say, if you do one to one and one at the same time, then two and two at the same time, three and three at the same time, it does make life a little bit easier. Uh, anyway, so for section zero, we want to build up straight up 17 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 there we go that's the uh, the uh, section zero done so this is where the rudder will attach as well so the rudder will bolt straight onto that flat section at a later date you can see the rudder over there right so now we move on to section one 
and for section one we want forward three and whenever I say forward because they're at the back facing back whenever I say forward I actually mean go back like that so I do apologize if it's confusing so for, for section one we want to go forward three one two three and then two one two and then up two one two and then up six one two three four five six six again one two three four five six and then four one two three four and there we go so that's that section there and then we move on to section two and adjust my notes. For section two, we want to go forward four, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, um, and then up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then four, one, two, three, four. Just make sure they're all the same height again, so that's fine. Now we're on to number three. Now for number three, we want to go forward four, one, two, three, four. And then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then four, one, two, three, four. Same height again, that's fine. Now we're on to section four, and we want to go forward four, one, two, three, four, and then three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and up two, one, two. And then up four, one, two, three, four. Up six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then up four, one, two, three, four. Like so. And then on to section five. We want forward five, one, two, three, four, five. And then four rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. And then up four, one, two, three, four. Up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then up three, one, two, three, like that. And then we move on to section six. We want to go and build forward six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three, one, two, three, and then four rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, up two, one, two, and then up four, one, two, three, four. Up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then up two, one, two, like that. So make sure they're all the same height, and it does look quite good already, um, even though it's very simple. So now we're on to section seven. We want forward five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then four rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, up two, one, two. Up four, one, two, three, four. Up six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, like so. So that's that section there. So now we move on to number eight. Uh, number eight, we have forward five, one, two, three, four, five. And then five again, one, two, three, four, five. And then we want six rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. Up three, one, two, three, and then up six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the same height again. Now we're on to number nine. We want forward eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three, one, two, three, and then four rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, up two, one, two. And then up three, one, two, three, and then up two rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, three, four. Like that. So there we are. That's the same height again. Now we're on to number 10, which I'm surprised it's not uh, taking longer than that. So for number 10, we want forward seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, and then seven again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then three, one, two, three. And then we want six rows of two, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, and then up four, one, two, three, four, and then four again, one, two, three, four. And that's the same height again there, so that's fine. Now we're on to number 11. And just bear with me while I adjust my notes. Paper clips have gone funny. Bear with me, <laughs> sorry. All right, there we are. So sorry, the paper clip got stuck. Stuck. All right. Anyway, so for section eleven, we want forward ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then five. One, two, three, four, five, and then seven rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, 
and one, two, and then up, up, uh, up four, sorry, so up one, two, three, four, and four again, one, two, three, four, and it should look something like that. If you want to adjust this one and make that sort of up, sort of go up there and then adjust it like that, it's up to you, but if you want to keep it as it was, it's up to you, it just makes the curve a little bit more curvy rather than pointy. Anyway, that's section 11, now we're on to section 12. Uh, section 12 we want forward 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then two rows of 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then four rows of 2, so 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and then up 2, 1, 2, and then up two rows of 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And just make sure, as always, that they're all the same height, so that is fine. Now we're on to number 13. And for section 13, we want uh, we want forward 9, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then two rows of 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 3, 1, 2, 3. And then four rows of 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and up 2, 1, 2, and then up 2 rows of 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's the same height again, so that's fine. Now we're on to number 14. For number 14 we want forward 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 2 rows of 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 3 rows of 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And then up 2, 1, 2. And then up 2 rows of 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's the same height as the rest, that's fine. Now we're on to number 15. Uh, for number 15 we want forward two rows of 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then 5 1 2 3 4 5 and then 4 1 2 3 4 3 1 1 2 3 and then 3 rows of 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 up two, one two, and then up two rows of four. One two three four, one two three four. And that's the same height again, that's fine. Now we're on to number sixteen. Uh, for number sixteen we want uh forward eleven. One two damn it. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. And then two rows of ten. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten. And then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then uh, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 3, 1, 2, 3. And then 2 rows of 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And then up 2, 1, 2. And then up 3, 1, 2, 3. And then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 3, 1, 2, 3. And it's the same height again. Now we're on to number 17. And the voice is starting to fail again. I've got a drink within reach, but I can't quite get to it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Right, so for section 17, we want forward 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 2 rows of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a row of two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, and then up three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three. And that's the same height as the rest. Again, that's fine. Now we're on to number 18. And we're doing all right so far. So for number 18, we want forward 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, and then 10, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And 3, 1, 2, 3. And then 2, 1, 2. 
and then up two, one, two, and then up three, one, two, three, up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then two, one, two. And that's the same height as the rest again, that's fine. Now we're on number 19, and we're getting through this quicker than I expected. So for number 19, we want uh, forward two rows of 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, and then 3. 1, 2, 3. And then 2. 1, 2. Up 2. 1, 2. And then up two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two. And that's the same height as the rest, that's fine. Now we're on the number 20. So we're on the home stretch here. So for number 20, just adjust my notes. So for number 20, we want forward 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then two rows of 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then uh, two rows of 4. 1, 2, damn it. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 3. 1, 2, 3. And then 2. 1, 2. And then up three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three. And that's the same height as the rest, that's fine. Now we're on to number 21, which is down here. To adjust my notes again, the bloody things get stuck. Yeah. Right, so for 21, we want to remove this block here and then start again. We want a row of 18, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then two rows of 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, and then 5, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 2 rows of 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and up 2, 1, 2, and then up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 3, 1, 2, 3. And then to save height, excuse me, as the rest, that's fine, making sure they're all right. Now we're on to number 22, and adjust my notes again. So, damn it. so for number 22 we want forward 18, remove that block first and then add the 18. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And just adjust my notes because the page has fallen over. And then after that we want uh, 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> And then we want 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we want 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Two rows of 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Two rows of 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Up 2, 1, 2. And then up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 3, 1, 2, 3. And that's the same height as the rest again, that's fine. Now we're on to number 23, which I've got to adjust the page again, so bear with me. Right, so for number 18, on top of the on top of the label, we'll remove that block again. And we'll remove, so this is 23, sorry. We want 18, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then we want 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then five, two rows of five, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four, one, two, three, four. Two rows of two, one, two, one, two. Up two, one, two. And then up four, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three. And that's again, that's the same height, that's fine. And then lastly, on to number 24, which is on the end of this long, small, long stick here. 
On the top of 24, we want to add a row of 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 3, 1, 2, 3, and then 2 rows of 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, up 2, 1, 2, and then up 2 rows of 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1. There looks so, and that should be the same height as the rest. I can't really tell at this angle, but I think it is. And that is all 24 of the stern sections done. So that is uh, quarterly at number 3. So if you've done the same on the other side, you should have both sides looking like this. Uh, of course, if you're using console, you're going to do it by hand, but there you go. And then that should all look something like that. So what I'm going to do now, we'll just do the same as we did on the front, which go on the inside and fill in the gaps. Now this section here between 0 and 1, the central propeller will go here, but we'll fill the gap anyway, and then we can come back and uh, cut the dimensions in properly later on. So the propeller will go where I am now, but we'll worry about that at a later date. So just fill in the gap anyway. So that's gap 1 there, and then the next gap, like so, and then the next one. I may as well do the next one. The, the stern section seems simpler to fill in because that's their close proximity. So that's no big deal. And I'll just do this last section and then we'll uh, do another jump cut. So there we are. There's the, the first few sections filled in. And like I say, it should look something like that. You know, seal filled in. And like I say, the propeller will go in this section here at a later date. You can see the propeller over there, that central hole there. We'll fill that in or, or cut that out later on so I don't need to worry. So if we look at it back uh, straight from the back as well, they do have quite a nice curve going on there. Not perfect, but it will do. That's my philosophy. And uh, that's all that should be there. So what I'll do now, I'll do a jump cut while I fill in the rest of the uh, stern sections. And what I'll do also, I'll fill in the gap between the front and back. So basically the side panel, I'll fill that in as well off camera. So um, I should do a jump cut while I sort that out and then we shall move on. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've filled in the sections of the ship's stern, uh, the back end of the ship, of course, and it should all look something like that, all the gaps filled in. And like I said a minute ago, I was going to fill in the side panel as well. So there's the side all filled in as well, which is the uh, widest point of the ship. So there's the front end there, up to the back end there, and it should all look something like that. So that's the full draft done, at least on one side. So I just need to copy that to the other side. Like I say, I've only done one side. And uh, like I say, it should all look something like that at the moment. So I just quickly copy this out, copy this over, so bear with me. So copy down to the keel there. And doesn't look too bad at the moment, so I just quickly copy and then flip to the right. And then we paste. And there we go, there's the uh, other side filled in as well. So apologies if you're not using, uh, or if you are using the consoles and you don't have the world edit tools available to you. It is a real pain in the ass, but of course things are like that. But if you've got the world edit tools, I know some some versions I think are uh, in, incorporating a sort of world edit, so life is getting a bit easier for some people. So anyway, that's the uh, draft all filled in anyway. And the last job for the draft for today is to fill in the floor, which is all red, and it should all fill in pretty easy. So I use the fill tool, so fill 25114 by 3000, and there we go, that's one side. And the other side there, like that. So there we are. There's the whole the whole draft of the ship sorted out. And it's just a shame that if you're building this on water, this will be completely underwater. But you know, there we go. That's how things are. But that is the full draft of the ship done. There will be more bits to add, like the rudder, uh, rudder sorry, the propellers, uh, a bit of tweaking to the stern design as well. But that's no big deal. And uh, that's it. So that's part one sorted out. Part two will be the beginning of the ship's main hull. Now, of course, this being Britannic, you can actually use this for Titanic, you know, the, 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 full, well, the full ship, basically. But there are a few areas which won't be sort of compatible with the, the Titanic design. Um, but if you want to build this as Titanic, when we go to build the, the main hull of the ship, um, the white section up to the grey line will be black. The grey line itself will be yellow, and then everything above the grey line uh, will be white. So it's basically from the red up to the grey line would be black and then from the grey line up would be yellow for the grey and then white up above that so if you want to build this a titanic you can the bow section of the superstructure is pretty much okay for that the stern superstructure 
is something that's going to be a bit different because of the uh, the extra parts added to Britannic. Uh, things will be slightly different. So this area here on the stern is you is completely open on Titanic, whereas here it's not completely enclosed. So some areas are going to be a bit difficult to convert. But like I say, if you want to use this as Titanic, you can. You just need to be a bit braver and uh, work on a few other things as well. And as before, like I said at the beginning. If you're going to be using this design as part of a downloadable project, a video on YouTube, or a conversion to other games, which a lot of people have been doing, then of course don't forget to credit me for the design. That's all I ask. I know there's a lot of people out there who like to build my stuff and then claim all the glory for it. I'm not after glory, I just want recognition for the design. I mean, I do spend hundreds of hours doing all these ships and get pretty much sweet FA for it. YouTube has taken away virtually all the uh, earnings, well not earnings that I have, but the ability to earn anything so if you, if you want to support me on this channel you can patreon is available and i do have a link at the end of the video for patreon if you do wish to su support me not a lot of people will i know but you know that's the way things are so that's the way things are if i want to keep the channel alive then you know support me and everything will be fine um it will get to a point where no money will be made and the channel will just grind to a halt till that day Hopefully things will just carry on, but there we go. Anyway, that's it for part one. The draft is done, and part two, like I say, will be the ship's main hull, uh, and also the forecastle and stern poop deck will be added to that as well in part two. And then part three will be anything, really, so we'll leave it at that. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing, and I shall return in part two. So uh, bye for now.